Hey, what's up guys? DJ LaFave here today to provide you with an overview of an incredible free software application called BitFocus Companion. Have you ever heard of the Elgato Stream Deck? That's a fancy little hardware device that allows you to basically control your computer by configuring its buttons to perform actions. Companion, while compatible to use with the Stream Deck, can also transform your phone, tablet, or even a spare web browser into a Stream Deck with similar functionality. What's that mean? Well, it means you do cool stuff from your phone, like open up PowerPoint, manage the production of your videos in OBS, and other cool stuff. This video is just a quick overview of what Companion is at a high level, and how it works using simple tools that allow you to control OBS, perform functions on your computer, like hotkey presses. It also supports over 70 other products, but I'm mainly going to cover the ones that I think a common user like a streamer, a vlogger, teacher, or regular Joe Schmo off the street would benefit from. So if any of this interests you, keep watching and make sure you like and subscribe to this page as I'll be rolling out new tutorials, tips and tricks videos all about Companion. So what you're looking at right now on your screen is actually, um, it, it's a, one of my phones, right? So what I've done is I use Companion, this, this free software, open source software, to configure buttons and to do different stuff on my computer. So as you're looking at this screen right here, um, right now I have this big horizontal phone. Uh, I have it in, in, checked off. Well, I'm just going to click it and now it goes away. So you can see I'm controlling OBS through my phone right now. No need for a stream deck, but the same exact functionality exists. So how does this all happen? How does all this magic work? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're going to get into that. Um, just just a, a, a nice little overview right now. So here's the, it's all web-based, 100% web-based, and uh, well, I should say that. It's a program that installs on your computer. Um, I, I have a, a guide that, that you can go into the, the description below that teaches you how to install it and configure it at a high level, and then this is where all the magic happens. So once you click Launch GUI, that's Graphical Inner graphical User Interface for the, um, the uninitiated, this whole page pops up. And on this page, you have um, different uh, areas that you can go into to configure the settings and whatnot for the magic that's about to happen. So I'm going to pull up my phone here right quick. So on the bottom left of the screen right now is what the actual interface will look like if you're using this thing called Emulator. The Emulator is found right here. And if we open it up in a new tab, just, just to give you an overview, this is what it actually looks like. But on a phone, you can zoom in and you can make it look just like a Stream Deck. Not just any old Stream Deck. Oh, no, no, no. This is like a Stream Deck XL. That means 32 keys. That's uh, four by eight action of creating this, this wonderful, wonderful usability tool. And it has 99 pages that you can configure the 32 buttons on. So that, that's a whole lot of different stuff you can do. So we're just going to peruse through this real quick. Um, I'll, I'll pull it up uh, big size again right here. Um, as you're looking at, at my phone, these are the different things that you can, you can kind of just create different pages to do different things. There's some blank ones. Um, this is actually, I created a page that allows you to um, do the, the macro scripting on voice meter. So you don't have to remember anything. It, it's all set up in here. It, it's pretty neat. Um, so what is Companion and how does this whole thing work? Here we go. This is Companion. Um, this is, you, you configure the buttons on this page and it's really just, you click on the button. I'm going to set the button type to a regular button and I'm going to tell it to do a couple of different things. Uh, the two things that I, I really, really use with this, the two instances are um, Ficreo hotkey and OBS. These are two different instances in in BitFocus Companion Lingo that you can add to it that allows it to do certain things. So for example, with Ficreo hotkey, um, I can do a whole bunch of different configurations with my computer. Um, one of them uh, essentially is, is right here. I can configure a Google Chrome hotkey. Google Chrome um, has a bunch of different hotkeys set up. Um, if, you've, if you've gone to my webpage, djlefave.com, I've created a whole bunch of sets for the regular Stream Deck. But this is for um, Companion. So essentially, with this, this button right here, and now if I, if I actually, if this whole thing works, there we go. Uh, now we'll go, we'll go bottom right, nah, top right, there we go. Uh, control... It'll do a control, a shift, and 
<laughs> Here we go. We're going to zoom it in for you. A control and a shift. Come on, window. There we go. Oh, geez. Ah, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, full screen. Maybe, maybe that's what's up. All right. Well, hey, we're working through this. Um, <laughs> right here, when I push this specific button, this bookmark button, bookmark button, bookmark bar button it's sending a command to my computer while I'm in Chrome of control shift B so the the example is when I push it see my bookmark bar it comes up and down bookmark bar goes away and I'm just pushing a button that does this action for me and imagine the possibilities if you wanted to do a whole bunch of different things um, here's an example on this page I have a button configured, so when I start up my computer, I want to open up my internet favorites. Right here, I have a couple of different commands set up so that when I push this button, Surf Favorites, I click on it, and all of my favorites open up. So when I come in there, oh yeah, DJ LaFave YouTube, baby, that's what's up. Um, you 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 can configure it so that, that usability, like, all right, now I'm going to sit on my computer, and instead of having to point and click all these things, push one button, and you're good to go. Uh, one thing that is is very awesome about this is if you are doing, um, let's say, OBS and you're live streaming right through OBS. Now, I'm going to show you on this, this bottom left keyboard, what I have right now is the layout for this specific scene in OBS. So the 1 through 16, if you could imagine that screen share on the right of me, left of me, right of me, over, over there, um, I have a different... Uh, areas cropped out so it appears like it's zooming in. So if I wanted to go to the bottom right, I would hit this number 16 button and it zooms into the bottom right. So now you're seeing I'm controlling this all through my phone. If I want to go to the center of the screen, I hit this center button and you'll see it highlight on my phone and it's going to center on my screen. If these were different sources that you had in your, in your, uh, in whatever it was that you were streaming, then this whole thing can, can basically you, you can produce your your entire live stream from your phone. So you don't even need a, a second device. Um, on Amazon, I actually picked up uh, uh, these little these little phone stands. It was two of them for for like four fifty, right? four dollars and fifty US dollars. And when when you connect them up, you just slap your phone on in there and uh, and it now performs basically just like a stream deck. So everything you're seeing on my phone is just the only thing that you're missing from an actual Elgato stream deck is the tactile feel of pushing a button. But if that doesn't bother you and 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 the price tag, you know, of free excites you, then then please uh, like and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to show you how to make all of this work. Right now I'm just kind of rambling on and showing you a lot of what it can do. Um I'm going to show you how to do it in future videos. So uh, what I want to do right now is I'm going to bring up, um, if you guys have ever heard of Voice Meter Banana or Voice Meter in general, it has this thing called macros, right? And in the macros, you can configure hotkeys for it. But sometimes it's kind of hard to, to remember what what all the codes and all the, the different uh, features are. So what I've actually done is uh, I've created a... a uh, a tool that that kind of does it for you so um, if you look in the bottom left of my phone right now uh, this is just one of the, the neat little things I'm gonna get to the page of how we configure it right so right now within the macro tool I'm gonna I'm gonna say for strip zero and it's gonna just type it and then I want to say I want number a1 all right cool and I wanted to turn on Cool. All I did was push the buttons and it did that. It typed it all in there because of how I have this thing pre-configured. So an idea that it can it can do strings and send strings to your computer. It can open up items. It can close items. Um, mostly so far what I've seen is that a lot of people who do film production are utilizing this tool because it allows them to control their actual hardware. 
But what I think this has a huge niche for is just general use, general general hotkeys and general um, production of, of OBS streams, like like what we're all doing. If you wanted to control your Zoom meeting with this, with, with their hotkeys that are already built in, you can do that. So um, th that's, that's essentially all I wanted to show in this quick video. It's a nice little overview. Um, th there it is again. That That is what it will essentially look like on your phone. And um, I'm going to end up coming up with more and more videos to get you to this point. But right now, I just want to get you excited. I want you to get you, you know, like, oh, man, this is this is really cool because it is. It's really neat. But I do say that that it was kind of daunting even for me, a technical person, when I first uh, encountered it. So uh, not to say that I want to dumb it down. I want to just make it make more sense for the the normal user out there. So that way you're not scared away by by its interface, which is primarily made for folks who know a little something about computers. Luckily for you, I do. And I'm going to hopefully be able to teach you how to do all these things and more. So once again, I'm DJ Lefebvre. Hope you guys enjoyed this overview just to introduce you about this tool. And then uh, we're going to get into a couple of videos later on. Uh, you can always catch them at djlefebvre.com slash companion uh, to learn more about this product. Until next time, I'm DJ Lefebvre. Out!